So what's going on guys, it's JMS Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So a fight is still apparently being discussed and trying to be worked out between WBC lightweight champion Mikey Garcia and former four-weight world champion Adrian the Problem Brona. And this is a very random fight in my opinion. Like I didn't expect these guys to fight each other yet. Or even at all. You've got Mikey Garcia who's just picked up a WBC title. At £135 after knocking out Dejan Slatikanin in a very good victory. Slatikanin was deemed a very dangerous fighter. Mikey Garcia just went in there. Controlled him for the first two rounds. And then slumped him in the third round. And Dejan Slatikanin was sleeping in there. So yeah, I thought that Mikey Garcia would go on and fight somebody like Terry Flanagan, try and unify because Terry Flanagan holds the WBO title or fight WBA and Ring Magazine champion Jorge Linares, which in my opinion is a very good fight at lightweight. I think that's probably one of the best possible fights you could have at lightweight. And instead, Mikey Garcia is apparently talking to fight Adrian Brona, but here's my problem here and this is what a lot of people's problem is with this fight what weight would it be at like what weight would this fight be at because i don't see mikey garcia going higher than 140 pounds if it's a catch weight or not i don't see him getting higher than 140 pounds he might take the risk and he might go higher but mikey garcia's only had two fights at 135 pounds he says that he's interested in fighting at 140 one day but i didn't think it'd be so soon and mikey garcia fought at featherweight and super featherweight only two three years ago and you got adrian brono and adrian brono in my opinion will not make 140 pounds like that's just not going to happen last time adrian brono tried to weigh in at 140 pounds he lost his world title on the scales when he went to fight ashley fear so i don't see adrian brono making 140 pounds i think with the shape that adrian brono is in now because when you see him on the social media and stuff like that, Adrian Broner looks out of shape. I think he struggled to come down to £147, especially for a fight that is being talked about for July 29th. Like that's not a lot of time at all. We're in June almost now. And yeah, this fight apparently is being discussed for July 29th at the Barclays Centre in Brooklyn in New York. And at a style point of view, you've got Mikey Garcia, a very dangerous puncher. He's a good boxer as well, Mikey Garcia, a very good boxer. And he's very dangerous, though, no, Mikey Garcia. He can hit very hard. Michael Garcia is one of these guys that really likes a stationary target. And I think Adrian Brono isn't as good on his feet as he thinks he is. Like, he tries to move around in the ring, Adrian Brono, and stuff like that. But I don't think Adrian Brono has got particularly fast feet. So I think Adrian Brono will be more of a stationary target for Mikey Garcia than he actually thinks. But then you can flip the script here because Adrian Brono likes to fight guys who are smaller than him and Mikey Garcia is a smaller guy than him because naturally Adrian Brono is a bigger guy than Mikey Garcia. Even though Adrian Brono has campaigned at super featherweight and lightweight himself, he grew out of them divisions and he skipped and went straight over to £147. I think that was a bad mistake. I think that Adrian Brono should have just moved to £140 from the start. I don't think Adrian Brona has any business to be fighting at £147. I don't think Adrian Brona is a good fighter at £147 because when he moved up and fought Paulie Malinaggi, he struggled in that fight. And then you've got um, him fighting Marcus Maidana and losing and getting knocked down twice in the fight, losing to guys like Sean Porter. So Adrian Brona at £147 is a no-go in my opinion. But I just don't see him making £140, so he'll have no choice but to fight at £147. Because he won't make £140. Like, I don't see this fight happening for the fact the weight. I don't think they'll be able to agree on the weight. Because unless Mikey Garcia wants to take the risk and wants to fight Adrian Brona at £145 or something like that. Because in his last fight against Granados, Adrian Brona weighed in at £146. So maybe he could try and make 145 or 144 pounds against Mikey Garcia. But would Mikey Garcia make the jump to 144 pounds or something? Because that's almost 10 pounds heavier than what he's fighting at now, than what he's weighing in as. 
So yeah, this is very interesting. And apparently a fight that could be on the undercard of this fight is former two-weight world champion Devon Alexander against former WBA worldweight champion Luis Colazzo. you got Devon Alexander, who was a good fighter, two-weight world champion. And then he hasn't really been the same fighter since he lost to Sean Porter in 2013. I think he's been on the slide a little bit since then. He's only had three fights since then. Um, Devon Alexander, like he fought Jesus Soto Carras, won that fight on points, wasn't a particularly fantastic fight. And then he fought Amir Khan, lost that fight convincingly. Like, people talk a lot of shit about Amir Khan, but on that night against Devon Alexander, Amir Khan totally schooled him. And then he fought a guy called Aaron Martinez, who is a fringe contender. And he was beaten in that fight clearly as well. So it's Devin Alexander over the hill. And then you got Luis Colazo, who's like Luis Colazo has been around for a long time. Like he lost his world title to Ricky Hatton in about two thousand and six. So he's been around for a while, Luis Colazo. I think he's what 36, 37 years old. He was beat up by Amir Khan in their fight and he lost to Keith Furman and in his last fight though he knocked out contender Sammy Vasquez which was a very good victory and I think Devin Alexander and Luis Carlazzo could be an interesting fight both guys are on the crossroads of their career both guys have seen better days in my opinion so I think it could be a good fight I'd be favouring I don't know who I'd be favouring for this fight I was going to say Devin Alexander but then I'm thinking Devin Alexander has been so inactive and Luis Colazzo didn't fight that long ago. He fought Sammy Vasquez a couple of months back. So, I don't know who I'd pick in that fight. But it's not really a, a particular fight that's too interesting because both guys have seen better days. So, yeah. Comment below in the comment section what you guys think of all this. Do you guys think that Mikey Garcia should fight Adrian Brogno? And what weight do you think the fight should be at? Would you rather see Mikey Garcia unify? At lightweight, would you rather see Adrian Broner? I don't even know what Adrian Broner's doing right now because his last two opponents, Ashley Fiafine and Adrian Granados, just weren't good opponents. And people need to remember Adrian Broner was the guy who said, Anybody can get it, but so far nobody's got it. So who knows what Adrian Broner's going to do if he steps in and faces Mikey Garcia. And they managed to find a weight they both agree on. Then I'll be interested in that fight. I think it would be a good fight. So yeah, why not? If both guys want the fight, then why not? Let's get it on. Let's see how good Mikey Garcia is. Or can Adrian Broner pull it off and prove that he is still one of the top fighters in the world? So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JMSV Boxing.